Hi students, so let us continue the chapter electric charge and fields. Uh, last class I introduced to you the concept of electric field, right? So please uh, revise it properly, see the video again if you have not understood. And let us quickly see what was electric field and how do you calculate electric field produced by a source charge, okay? So if you have a source charge, could be plus, could be a minus, okay, so some source charge. Then, in the surrounding space of the source charge, in the surrounding space of the source charge, at each point, there will be some electric field. Okay, at each point, there will be an electric field, which will depend only on the source charge and how far it is, how far it is, okay. And to find the electric field, the technique we applied was we keep here some test charge and by definition by convention convention means rule okay which everyone agrees right everybody has agreed that you know uh, this is the like this is our constitution this is our law so like that we have agreed that the test charge will be taken positive while measuring the electric field it doesn't mean you cannot put negative charge Somebody can put negative charge and ask what will be the force on the negative charge. But while measuring the electric field, we keep whatever charge here to be positive test charge. So this is your test charge. Okay. Then what we do? We measure the force on the test charge. So this is the force on the test charge. Then we divide by the test charge. Okay. The moment you write this formula, one thing is understood and that is this test charge will not affect the uh, distribution of the source charge. For that, what we assumed, if you remember, we, re we remembered that test charge should be very small, should be very small, okay? So we don't want test charge to affect the field produced by the source charge, understood? So for that reason, test charge is taken to be small. So whenever I write this formula, it is understood that the test charge is quite small, okay? And if you are wondering uh, when can such assumption be true, then our answer is if this distance is quite large, then you can uh, assume that the test charge, even if it may have some finite value, it will not affect the distribution of the source charge if this distance is quite large, okay, compared to the size of the source charge, okay. So this condition and if they say test charge is, or if they say the source charge is point charge and it is fixed, if the source charge is point charge and it is fixed, then this test charge will not be able to move the test charge, right? Oh, sorry, the source charge, right? Okay. So, this is how we define electric field. So, basically, it is force XP. This is not force on one coulomb, okay? This is force on Q0 coulomb. This is force on Q0 charge, okay? So, this becomes force on one coulomb because you are dividing by the charge force on one coulomb. So now if you want to find force on, let us say I keep here plus Q, then the force on that plus Q will be what? Plus Q into E. And suppose I put minus Q, then the force on the charge minus Q will be what? Minus Q into E, because E is force on one coulomb. So force on two coulomb will be two into E force on Q coulomb will be Q into E. So basically students, now from now on, from now on what we are going to do is we are going to uh, take different kind of source charges and we are going to find the electric field which depends only on the source charge. And once we find the uh, electric field, you can now talk about force on any charge kept at that point where you know the electric field okay so let me just mention to you how we are going to do the uh, further uh, topics so step one will be to calculate to calculate electric field due to source charge and what kind of source charge is possible any kind point charge multiple point charge multiple can be also there more than one uh, ring charge, line charge, okay, spherical charge. So we are going to find electric field. And then in step two, we will measure the force on a given charge 
on a given charge let us say q due to this electric field and for that we will use the formula force is q into e okay so this is the simple uh, two steps which we are going to do for the remaining chapter okay okay so let us now uh, revise once quickly what was the formula for electric field due to what kind of source charge we have done already point charge so let us take the simplest kind of source charge simplest kind of source charge would be point charge so let's say your charge is plus q and at a distance r what is electric field here electric field at distance r is what force per unit charge right if you keep this q naught here it will experience some force divide by the q naught and what is the force since it is point charge i can use coulomb's law 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q q naught by r square r cap so this is the force from coulomb's law why i am using coulomb's law because my source charge is point charge then you have to divide by q naught because i am trying to calculate electric field so q naught will cancel so electric field will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught source charge divided by r square r cap okay so if the if the source charge is positive then this electric field will be along r cap and r cap is taken this way right so it will be this way if the source charge is positive it will be away from the positive source charge along the line joining the source charge and the point this is the point which we can call p wherever we want electric field similarly suppose you keep negative source charge then at a distance r magnitude will be given by this only okay magnitude means modulus right so modulus of minus q will be q only but direction will be now towards my towards the minus q so this is minus e bar will be opposite to r cap so r cap we take along increasing r so if r increases this way we take r cap that side only right so electric field will be towards minus q so make a habit of remembering this okay that electric field due to positive point charge is away from the point charge and electric field due to negative point charge is towards the negative point charge at a given point so electric field is always calculated at a point force is calculated on a charge so these two differ uh, these differences you try to uh, remember okay then uh, let us talk about something called now you know, we can solve numericals which are there but before solving numericals let us discuss a very nice topic called so today's uh, class actually starts now okay so these are the new topics for today electric field lines so what is electric field lines okay so i told you that a given charge produces around it electric field and we know how to measure the electric field from the definition but suppose you want to have a picture of electric field picture in the sense suppose i show you uh, some diagram of electric field produced by one charge and i show you another diagram of electric field produced by another charge then looking at the diagram you should be able to decide two things you should be able to decide that here electric field is stronger at this point compared to uh, compared to this point for same charge if you take same charge then you can you should be able to decide by looking at the diagram of electric field lines which we are going to study you should be able to decide where is electric field strong and you should be able to decide the direction because electric field is vector and vector has magnitude and direction magnitude means strength how strong it is right okay so this method was introduced by a scientist called faraday okay so let us see what is the technique so imagine you have a point source charge for simplicity let us start with point source charge and let us take positive then at this point if you want to know electric field then what was the technique i told draw a vector away from the plus charge so this vector represents the electric field here okay, let me not write any symbol right now here if i ask where will you show the direction away only but you have to draw a longer line longer line than this line why because 
we know from vector analysis that the length of the arrow gives you the magnitude and if you are closer to the source charge then r will be less and if r is less electric field will be more because r square is in the denominator similarly here if i ask it will be like this here if i ask it will be like this so like this as you keep going away the electric field vector should keep becoming shorter and shorter similarly if i ask along this line then how will you show here like this here like this here like this here like this right so if you have understood so basically i have to draw all this you know, tiny tiny vectors which keep becoming shorter as i go away okay so this is how we can represent electric field around it in the form of some arrows okay so this is a nice picture that you no know, you can now feel electric field because you are seeing a picture so when you see picture of something you no know, you can feel it right so that's why people uh, have this concept so that they can imagine about electric field if i simply say electric field is the region and if i say the formula you can't imagine about electric field to have imagination you i need to give you some uh, pictures but the pictures cannot be drawn any way you want there has to be some rule if i ask you to draw angel angel then you can't draw angel with you know horns and all because that is not how uh, angel should be right they should have some white gown and some you know uh, stick with star or something right so that some rules you have to follow similarly to draw a pictorial representation picture representation of electric field produced by some source charge there has to be some rules okay so this is one nice way to represent but however people thought that this is you not know, too much uh, like you have to draw too many arrows and it takes lot of time so people thought instead of doing that why don't we simply draw lines which are going out radially outwards radially outwards okay so all these lines are going radially outwards so these lines could represent Uh, these lines are easier to draw than this okay and how will you find electric field at a given point suppose you want electric field at this point then you have to simply draw direction if you want you have to simply draw a tangent to this line at this point what you have to draw tangent to this line at this point if you want electric field at this point so draw a tangent it will be like this so that tangent will give you the direction of electric field okay so this tangent will give you the direction of electric field so basically if you know this so uh, in today's time we don't represent electric field using this little arrows so many arrows we don't have to draw just draw lines which are like this for point source charge point source charge okay and what is the uh, from these lines how will you get information about electric field first rule if you want electric field at any point then what you draw tangent to the line at that point tangent should touch only one point right so already the line is straight so tangent also will be straight only right so that tangent will give you the direction of electric field at that point first thing second thing what about magnitude direction you can find by drawing tangent what about magnitude magnitude is simple if the lines are closer then it means electric field is stronger at that region okay so if i ask you here electric field is stronger or here then formula says electric field is stronger here because your distance is less so you will feel more electric field at the same time if you look this diagram then what do you see lines are closer here and as you go away lines are going farther okay so two things you must remember about electric field lines first point is tangent tangent at a point on the field line field line gives direction of electric field and the second thing you should know is closer the lines closer the field lines stronger will be stronger will be electric field okay 
So let me write E in exam, you have to write spelling, okay? So this is how we define electric field. Now, right now for plus charge, how, how will we draw the electric field lines? Radially outwards. Okay, radially outwards like this. Now imagine, suppose I have a negative charge. Suppose I have a negative point charge. Negative point charge. Then how will we draw electric field lines? Can you guess already? Yes, I have told you to find electric field at any point. You have to draw an arrow which is towards the negative source charge, right? So the, now the lines will be radially inverse. Radially inverse, okay? So this is radially inverse for negative charge. And here it is radially outwards. Okay. So if you want to know uh, what is electric field at this point, then just draw a tangent to this line. Since the line is straight, tangent also will be straight. Okay. Some students were asking, sir, should I draw tangent this way or that way? Well, these lines will always have arrow. Understood. So therefore, you have to do tangent in the direction of wherever the arrow is. Okay, fine. So how will we how will we define it for one mark if they ask what is electric field line? So electric field line is an imaginary line actually. These are imaginary, okay. This is just for our representation. So if I keep a source charge, positive source charge somewhere, you don't have to run. Okay, these are not real arrows which will come towards you. Understood or not? So these are imaginary. So what is electric field line? It is a imaginary line in the space of some source charge such that if you draw tangent at a point on the line, if you draw tangent at a point on the line, that tangent will give you the direction of electric field at that point. And if you have multiple charges, then it will give you the direction of net electric field. Obviously, right, if you have multiple charges, each charge will produce electric field. So you have to calculate the net electric field. And that tangent that you draw, that will give you the direction of net electric field. Okay. Uh, does it have to be only straight? Let us try to see now. So first, you please draw these diagrams, okay. And in exam, they come for one mark or if they ask both, it will be for two marks, okay. Now what we will do, we will study a system we will draw electric field lines we will draw electric field lines for two point charges but they are oppositely charged and equal let's say so one is minus q and at some distance one is plus q okay so i want to draw electric field lines due to this system not due to this Okay, on due to this, you know, it's radially outwards. Due to this, radially inwards, if they are separated, if they don't interact, right? But here you know that at any point, if they are nearby, then at any point, both of them will produce electric field. So such a system is called in physics, electric dipole. Now more about electric dipole, we will discuss in the next session. So this is called electric dipole. So now I want us to, now we want to draw uh, electric field lines due to a uh, dipole. So let us see how to do. First, I will try to, you know, show you how to build, how to build the diagram. Then once you understand, then we'll draw the diagram. So suppose I ask you at this point, or well, let us start with something easy. Here, let us ask at the midpoint of this. So this minus q will produce electric field towards minus q. We already know. And due to plus q, electric field will be away from plus q. Away. That means due at this point, due to minus q, it will be towards minus q, meaning towards left. Due to plus q, we already know electric field we draw away from plus q, meaning that is also towards left. So if both the electric field here produced by the charges here are both towards left, then net electric field will be where? Net. It will be towards left only. Here also it will be towards left only. That means you have understood. 
if these are directions of electric field if these are directions of electric field at three points then how should the line be see what is the technique if you draw tangent to the line at a point then that gives you the direction of electric field at that point so if i give you the line you can draw tangents at points and find the direction of electric field or i can give you tangents sorry i can give you yeah tangents which are directions of electric field and then you can find the line so you know at this point at this point at this point electric field will be this side so it is very clear the line should be like this so the electric field line should be like this okay clear okay now think somewhere here okay let us start somewhere here now this point is so close to minus q if you think it is far bring it near no problem if this point is very very close to minus q then whose effect will be more effect of minus q or effect of plus q effect of minus q because you are extremely close to minus q so at this point the electric field will be as if you know only minus q is there plus q uh, plus q effect can be neglected because you are very close to minus q and somewhere here how was the direction of electric field towards right so this is the arrow which represents electric field at this point similarly suppose here if i ask here very very close to plus q then if you are very very cl close to plus q the role of minus q can be neglected i mean the electric field here i can imagine is uh, dominantly by plus q the role of the effect of minus q here to find electric field can be neglected so here electric field will be due to this charge and how will how do we draw due to plus charge already i have shown you in this diagram before so it will be radially outwards like this so that will be your electric field at this point okay what about somewhere here hmm be careful now now at this point you are you cannot say you are near to minus q you cannot say you are near to plus q so here both of them will produce uh, you know same come uh, same effect of electric field so what will be the effect of minus q here the electric field here due to minus q will be towards and due to plus q will be away right so due to minus q is this side due to plus q is this side and you know from vector addition rule if two arrows are like this resultant will be where resultant will be here that means the total electric field here the net electric field here due to both the charge will be like this understood okay so we have come to know that in this points we had no doubt at this points electric field everywhere was like this so we made a line like this and arrow was this side but in this region we have seen electric field is like this at this point like this at this point like this at this point now this electric fields according to the definition of electric field line what i told you it is a line where if you draw tangent at a point that tangent will give you the direction of electric field understood so if these are tangents to a certain line then can you imagine how the line should be if you remember projectile motion in first view and how we used to draw velocity vector right if this is your projectile motion then at this point velocity we used to draw tangent here also tangent here also tangent right so from if you remember this then you can easily tell me that if these are the tangents the line should be like this like this right so these are the uh, tangents at this point this point this point to which line this line so once you understand this fact now you will easily understand how the electric field line should look in this part so it will look like this here it will look like this right so now you have understood how it will look what about here same thing you can do so it will be like this right and then it, it can go like this so you go like this and come here okay and here you can go this is 
plus q, right? So you have to start from plus q. I did the mistake plus q plus q. Why this is going this way? It should start from plus q, right? So start from plus q. This is correct. So it should go like this and it should be this. Thing, right? Similarly, from plus q should start then go like this. And here if I ask along this line, then minus q means this side towards plus q means this way away but this will be stronger this will be stronger because this is due to minus q see electric field here due to minus q will be towards electric field here due to plus q will be away but who is nearer to this point minus q so electric field of minus q will be stronger which is towards so the total electric field will be this side that means the line should be like this okay and what about here if i ask due to plus q it is away due to minus q it is towards which is nearer plus q so this will be stronger so total will be this side that means line should be this way understood okay. so this is how we draw the direction of elect sorry this is how we draw electric field lines produced by a system which contains plus q charge minus q charge separated by some distance and which we call such a system we call electric dipole okay fine so i hope you all have understood this diagram now let us say if they ask uh, the charges are not minus q plus q it is plus q plus q okay now for this system how will we draw electric field line Okay, so you can see at this point, at the middle if I ask, okay, <clears throat> due to plus q it will be away, due to this plus q it will be away from that plus q, right, don't forget, see if this is the source charge plus q, electric field here will be where, away from the source charge, similarly if plus q is here and you want electric field at this point, then where it will be? away from the source charge because it is positive so here due to this it is away due to this charge also it is away and since they have same magnitude it will cancel there so the net electric field here is zero so here electric field is zero because the two electric fields produced by these two charges will cancel and if electric field is zero it is very clear that there is no tangent and therefore you cannot draw line because if there is no tangent there cannot be a line because if there is electric field then that electric field should be represented by what i told in direction in direction the electric field is represented by tangent at a point to the line but there is no electric field here so you can't draw any line fine very good so here you can't draw any line what about here here you are very close to this charge so you can forget about this charge so electric field will be radially outwards like this okay away from the plus charge due to this will be away from the plus charge not exactly here okay exactly here will be like this and somewhere here if i ask then where will you tell due to this here to both uh, effect of both you have to consider here because this is neither close to this charge nor this is close to this charge so this charge will produce electric field away from the plus charge. This will also produce away. And total of this vector will be where according to vector addition rule this way, right? By parallelogram you will make and diagonal. So total will be this way. Okay. So what you understood is tangent should be like this here, then like this. Right? Tangent. See, before tangent was like this, like this like this then like this so how did we make the line like this in this we have seen tangent is like this and then like this so how should the line be i hope you have understood the line should be like this and what about here it should be like this the so same thing now once you understand this part you can aram say draw the other part okay here you know it will be away right here it will be away Try to keep the same gap here, okay? Try to have symmetrical diagram. Okay. 
Okay, did I draw same number here? I think one more I can do right. Yeah. So this represents the electric field of two point charges, which are light charges. And the left side, this one, represents the electric field of minus. So it's very important that when you draw this, the electric field line should go like this. See? Like this. So hand movement should be like this. So it, so as you go more and more outside, okay, it should go like this, then like this, okay, then like this. So it should be like this. Whereas here it is like this, okay, it is like this. So this side you have to draw this way as you keep going outward it should be like this okay so you can see here it starts this way here it goes this way okay so you can see they are not same this is going this way this is going this way so this is see this line is going away from this axis whereas this line is going parallel to this axis so if you draw mistake in this part they will deduct marks so just remember what this part you remember and I explained to you how to draw this part right. So once you understand that part you can easily find so you know this is here right like this so then you keep going like this and you know this is like this so then you keep going like this okay like this. so I hope all of you understood make it nicely and practice one two three times and keep it in your mind okay so this diagram will come later again so don't forget. By the way, uh, you can see that uh, electric field near the charge is very strong. Why? Because the lines are very close. Before I told you, right, if lines are closer, electric field will be stronger. So here lines are very close. So electric field is strong here, it is strong. Here it is very weak. Here it is very weak because lines are going farther. Okay. So from this, let me put a question to you, okay? Let me put a question. Suppose I take just a charge, point charge. Okay, and now let me take a dipole. Dipole means minus q plus q separated by a small distance. Okay, so this is the system. Here, this is the system. Okay, this is the system. So if you remember, how do you draw electric field lines from this plus q? You draw radially outwards, right? And here, if you draw, it will be a wave because this is plus, and here it goes like this, right? You remember, right? Okay. Now, try to answer this. As I go distance r from here, and I go distance r from here, in which case electric field is decreasing faster. Let me repeat. As I go distance r from this charge and I go distance r from this charge or from this dipole, as I go distance r, electric field is decreasing faster in which case? This point charge or for this dipole? Answer is for this dipole. Why? Because you can see here the lines are becoming farther much early than here. Here the lines are going straight like that. Right? It is going like this. But here it is going like this, here. So in this case, the lines are going farther, much early than here. So therefore, electric field due to dipole decreases faster than electric field due to point charge. Keep a note of this. You will come to know again later. Okay. So for three marks, they keep asking you in exam, no, very common question. What are the properties of electric field lines. So for three marks they will ask. So at least three properties you should know. First property. Electric field lines start from positive charge. We have seen right. It starts from positive charge and it ends to negative charge. Right? If in the case of dipole it was very much clear that it started from plus and it goes to minus. If you draw plus here minus here then you have to draw this way. Okay. So electric field lines first property starts from positive charge and they end to negative charge if there is negative charge nearby. What if there is only positive charge in this universe, only one positive charge, then electric field lines will start from positive and it will go up to where infinity. So they will end at infinity. Okay. 
So similarly, if this was only negative charge, they will start from infinity and end at negative charge. So first property clear, right? Second property, um, you can say wherever the lines are closer, electric field magnitude is stronger. Third property, you can say tangent, if you draw at a point on the line, that tangent will give you the direction of electric field. And if there are many charges, then it will give you the direction of net electric field. Okay, so you can just say electric field, it, it is understood. When people say find electric field at a point, usually it always means net electric field, right? Okay, then suppose one more property let me mention to you. Yes, very important. Another property is two electric field lines, two electric field lines never intersect. Two electric field lines never intersect. Why if you ask why? Why if you ask? Then it is easy to understand. Look here. So imagine this is one line and this is one line. And suppose I say they intersect. These are not just lines by the way. These are electric field lines. So if I say they intersect, then at the point of intersection, here, suppose somebody says, sir, I want to know what is the electric field here, direction. Then the problem is for this line, if you draw tangent, it will be here. And for this line, if you draw tangent, it will be here. Meaning, if the lines intersect, then there will be two directions of net electric field at a point. But how can net electric field have two directions it's impossible right if i ask what is the direction of net electric field it is either this way or that way or that way. it can't be this way also that way also understood or not so therefore two lines of electric field can never intersect because if they intersect then if they intersect then the at the point of intersection there will be two directions of net electric field which is not possible now there are some more properties which are mentioned in the EPL like you know electric field lines cannot go inside conductor and for conductor electric field lines are always perpendicular to the surface of the conductor. So those properties right now you don't have to understand. Next chapter when we do potential concept and Gauss law then it will be clear why electric field inside conductor is zero. So all those details right now you don't worry only these four properties you try to remember. First property, electric field lines start from positive charge and they end to negative charge if there is a negative charge. Then um, if the lines of electric field are closer, it represents a stronger electric field. Third one, tangent if you draw at a point on the electric field line, that will give you the direction of the net electric field and two electric field lines can never intersect. So four are enough, in exam anyways three you have to write. Okay, so we have done with the uh, properties of electric field lines. So let us now do some numericals so that whatever formulas we have learned that can be applied. Okay, so let us see numerical exercise 3. So numerical exercise 3 which means actually 1.3. Okay, 1 means the chapter number. Okay, so question number 1. <coughs> Two electric charges plus nanocoulomb and plus 20 nanocoulomb are at a distance of 2 meter in air. So let's draw a diagram. So here plus 5 nanocoulomb and here plus 20 nanocoulomb is at a distance of 2 meter in air. Okay, so the permittivity of this medium can be taken to be epsilon naught. They are asking at what point from at what point electric field is zero from the smaller charge. So from the smaller charge, which is the smaller charge? This one. Now, if you are in the middle, then you know this charge has more value than this charge. So this will produce more electric field. So if you are in the middle, okay. 
so this charge will produce electric field away because it is positive so if I call this A this B then I can write this electric field as EA what is EA electric field produced by sorry uh, B by charge at B and it is away from the charge because it is positive similarly electric field at this point due to this charge this is also positive so it will be away this is due to A but will they cancel they want electric field to be zero remember so at the midpoint will they cancel no they will not cancel because this charge is stronger than this charge C in magnitude so this will produce more electric field here so this will be more so it is very clear that you need to be nearer to the smaller charge you need to be nearer to the smaller charge then there is a chance electric field can be zero what about here can it be zero here no it cannot be zero here due to this plus it will be away due to this plus also electric field will be away so if both are away they will add so how will you get zero electric field similarly here can electric field be zero no due to this plus it will be away due to this plus also it will be away so in this line at this at this points it cannot be zero here similarly here also it cannot be zero due to this plus it will be away due to this plus it will be away so there is some angle so there will be some resultant electric field understood or not so the only point where electric field can be zero is if the two electric fields produced by the two charges cancel each other and when two vectors cancel when they have equal magnitude and opposite direction so let us see so we have come to know at the midpoint it cannot be zero so it has to be nearer to the weaker charge which is the weaker charge 5 nanocoulomb so let us say this distance is x then this distance will be how much 2 minus x so we have to find x so at this point electric field due to this charge a will be away away from a so this is e a and due to b also it will be away e b let me draw short shorter okay because you know the magnitude should be same so the length of the vectors should be same so that means in order for electric field at P, so at P, what is the resultant electric field? This plus this or this minus this. Opposite direction means EA minus EB. Now in the question what they said, this electric field, the total should be 0. That means EA magnitude should be equal to EB. Magnitude, okay. If this charge was minus, you have to still put modulus. So don't include the minus sign. So what is Ea formula for point charge 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught source charge this is Ea matlab due to A what is the source charge 5 nano coulomb divided by distance between charge and point what is distance between charge and point x so will be x square this formula you have not forgotten right students if you have a charge Q at a distance r what is the electric field due to single point charge 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by x square or r square r is distance between not two charges r is distance between source charge and point which point observation point what do you mean by observation point the point where we calculate electric field so ea is electric field at p produced by a this vector so distance between source charge and observation point is x so x square and the charge source charge value for this is 5 nanocoulomb similarly eb will be what eb is due to this charge so it will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught charge of this is 20 nanocoulomb divided by distance between source charge and point that is 2 minus x whole square so if this condition will match if this equals this then the total electric field will be zero at point p so nano coulomb nano coulomb cancel 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught cancel this you cross multiply so 2 minus x by x whole square 
will be equal to 20 divided by 5 will be 4. Right? So from here, if I simplify, 2 minus x by x will be 2. 2 minus x will be 2x. So 2 will be 3x. I did not take the minus solution. So x will be 2 by 3 meters. x will be 2 by 3 meters. So 2 by 3 means what? If this is 2, right? So if you divide into 3 parts, this much, this much, this much. So 2 by 3 means somewhere here. Okay? So this is 2. So 1 part. Yeah. So from here, this distance is 2 by 3. So at this point, electric field is 0, which means it is nearer to the smaller charge. If it was in the middle, answer would have been 1. If it was nearer to this, answer would have been 1 point something. But this is less than 1. Okay. So I hope you all understood. Now, can you tell me, just listen carefully. Can you tell me what will happen if I keep a charge here, some test charge, Q0? What will be the force on that Q0? Force on that touch will be how much? 0. Why? Because for once you know electric field at a point, then forget about Coulomb's law, any law. Once you know electric field at a point, then force on any charge kept at that point will be Q into E. And if the charge is Q0, it will be Q0 into E. But E is 0 at this point. So force will be also Q0 into 0, which is 0. So that is the beauty of knowing electric field. Once you find electric field at a point, basically you have found force on one coulomb kept at that point. And therefore, if you put any uh, Q0 or see by when I say this, we are assuming the test charge value will not affect the source charges. Okay. Fine. So you can see electric such points where electric field is zero is also called neutral point. Okay. Neutral point. Uh, tell me what will happen if in this case, you know, both the source charges were positive, right? What will happen? Suppose I tell you one source charge is plus 8 micro coulomb and another source charge is minus, I don't know, 16 micro coulomb. Okay, where will be electric field 0 if I ask? Try this yourself, but I will first tell you at which point it can be 0. Can it be 0 in this space? In the middle of these two charges, can it be 0? No, it cannot be. Take any point here, let's say. Due to this, it will be away, which is positive. So due to positive charge, electric field is away from the positive charge. E1 let us call. Due to negative charge, it will be towards the negative charge. So what did you see? Both the vectors are in same direction. So total can never be 0 in this space. Here let us see. Due to minus Q, it will be towards E2. Due to plus A, it will be away. Will it be 0 but? You may think, yes sir, if they are opposite, so they will cancel. No students. This is less uh, charge than this. So, the elect and this point is farther from this charge. So, so this E1 will be very, very weak compared to this E2 because you are nearer to this charge and on top of that, this charge is more in value. So, charge is also more in magnitude. Magnitude means forget the minus sign. So, magnitude is more. Distance is also you are, you are nearer to bigger charge. So, if you are nearer to bigger charge, electric field, though it may be opposite, the electric field produced by this will be larger than this. So, total will be this side. It cannot be zero. Now, come this side. Due to plus 8, it will be away. Due to minus 16, it will be towards. And you are nearer to less charge. But the charge is lesser than this. So now, there is a possibility that this electric field and this electric field are equal in magnitude. Okay, so here electric field can be zero. So the point is electric field will be always zero near the weaker charge. Weaker in the sense when I say weaker, I always mean magnitude. So this is 8, this is minus 16, I know. But in magnitude, if you see, this is larger. 
this is weaker so this will so near the weaker charge electric field can be zero so what do you do take this distance x then this distance will be how much if this distance is 2 meter this will be 2 plus x so then find e1 find e2 e1 was due to this charge so it will be 1 by 4 by epsilon naught charge is 8 micro coulomb divided by distance from 8 micro coulomb to observation point is x and due to this charge what will be the electric field 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught magnitude is 16 micro coulomb divided by distance between source charge and point which is 2 plus x before it was 2 minus x if you remember and if these two are equal in magnitude direction we know it is opposite right so if the magnitude of e1 equals the magnitude of e2 then the total electric field here will be zero so you can simplify actually i only did right i wanted you people to try so make a note of this pause the video okay uh, let us now see some more questions question number two so it says two point charges QA which is plus 3 micro coulomb and QB minus 3 micro coulomb are located are located 20 centimeter apart. So two charges are there at A and at B. One of the charge they are seeing is plus 3 micro coulomb, other charge they are saying minus 3 micro coulomb. So this is like your dipole and the distance is they are separated by 20 centimeters. Find the electric field at the midpoint of the line joining A and B. Midpoint means here. O let us call it. Okay. O or P whatever you wish. Then second part we will do later. Right. First part is to find electric field here. See students, I have always told you electric field is always calculated at a point. So at which point they want electric field? First you read the question. So they want at the midpoint. So your O is observation point. Then you find which are the source charges. The source charges are the ones which are mentioned in the question. So this is one source charge. This is one source charge. Now first draw the direction. So due to this plus charge, electric field will be away. E A. And due to this, also it will be towards. See, so minus no, it will be towards. So now it will not be zero. E B. So you can see both are in the same direction. So total electric field will be E A plus E B. Why plus? Because they are in same direction. So this will also have 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. This will also have 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. Let me take common. What is the magnitude of charge? 3 micro coulomb. 3 into 10 power minus 6 divided by distance. This distance will be how much? 10 centimeter, right? From source charge to observation point. Don't use this distance. Nobody is asking you to find force on this by this. That we have done in Coulomb's law. They are asking electric field at a point. So we have to use distance between source charge and observation point, which is 10 centimeter. 10 centimeter means 10 into 10 power minus 2 meter, which is 0 0.1 meter. So this is 0 0.1 square. Plus EB is electric field due to this charge. 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught will be here also, but I took common. Now what is the magnitude of that? Don't write the minus sign. Thousand times I'm saying. Write the magnitude. Magnitude is 3 micro And what is the distance from source charge to observation point this is also 10 centimeter matlab 0 0.1 meter right okay so e will be what is the value of this 9 into 10 power 9 these two are same right so same plus same will be twice into this will be 3 into 10 power this is 10 power minus 1 square minus 2 minus 2 will go up plus 2 so 10 power minus 4 so electric field will be 3 2s are 6, right? 6 9s are 54 into 10 power 9 minus 4 is 5. Unit of electric field was what I told you last class, Newton per Coulomb because it is 
force per unit charge newton per coulomb that is the definition this is the definition this is the formula for electric field due to point charge so first part is over direction will be where towards right or left towards right towards right okay Fine. now the second part of the question this is the first part second part of the question so let us read the question second part says if a negative charge of magnitude 1.5 nano coulomb is placed here is placed at the midpoint find the force experienced by it now if you put some charge here test charge q not you already know what is the total electric field here right e then what is the meaning of e i have told you force per coulomb say force on one coulomb so force on q coulomb will be q not into e okay so what is the let us calculate on the magnitude because i am not putting arrow i am not putting vector symbol right so what is the magnitude of the charge which they have kept here this charge is 1.5 nano coulomb so 1.5 into 10 power minus 9 minus 9 sorry and electric field is 54 into 10 to the power 5 okay it's not visible right okay. so it's q naught represents the charge the test charge which i keep here to find the force on the charge so this is the charge which is feeling the force these are the charges which are producing the electric field so source charges produce electric field at a point when you put another charge at that point that charge will feel a force q into e here i am writing q naught that is our wish right so simplify this yourself at home that will be the answer direction will be where now they have kept what kind of charge here negative charge so if i put arrow mark it then to have to write minus also because arrow vector sign i want so vector sign minus sign with minus it means what because I, this charge is negative right when i put this value and put minus so this minus means what if i write vector it means force will be opposite to e so if this charge is negative force will be opposite to electric field electric field is towards right so if you put negative charge force will be towards left so force will be towards left understood see it is expected also this source charge is positive look carefully once this source charge is positive this source charge is negative now you are keeping here one test charge which is negative minus sir. so this minus will be attracted to this and this minus will be repelled by this so this minus will feel a total force this side as you are seeing in the in the uh, solution right so keep in mind that if the test charge is negative then the force experienced by it will be opposite to the direction of the electric field okay so this completes the second question let us see the third question now so third question says abc is a right angle triangle okay so let us draw the right angle triangle so there is a right angle triangle okay this isosceles also uh, ab is uh, oh, sorry, it is not isosceles okay this is shorter so ab is 3 meter bc is 4 meter then this you know will be 5 meter from pythagoras theorem right okay sorry so they have given you a right angle triangle and the right angle is at b there so b is at right angle a b is 3 meter b c is 4 meter and the hypotenuse you can calculate from pythagoras theorem 5 meter will come now charges of 90 micro coulomb is kept at a here so here they have kept plus 90 micro coulomb and minus 160 micro coulomb is kept at c then minus 160 micro coulomb not same charge okay different charge find the magnitude and direction of electric field at point b 
so here they want electric field wherever they want electric field there will not be any charge there because uh, what I have told you electric field is found at a point so that point is your observation point so B is your observation point so once I know B is my observation point which are the source charges can you guess this and this so at this point the electric field produced by the positive source charge will be away straight line method right? vectors are always straight let us call this E1 E1 okay you can write EA also but I thought I'll write E1 and due to C it will be towards this is E2 you can write E1 here so once we know the direction let us calculate the magnitude so E1 will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught E1 is due to which charge? A. So charge at A divided by distance between source charge and observation point B. So it is AB square, right? So this is like your R. Okay. It's better to write formula for board exam. Okay. Then you substitute. So 9 into 10 power 9. What is the charge at A? Magnitude 90 microcoulomb. And this distance is 3, so 3 square if you do 9. So this 9 and this 9 will cancel. So E1 will be 9 into this is 10 minus 6 will be power will be uh, 4 Newton per coulomb. So this is the electric field produced by charge A. What will be the electric field produced by charge B? Sorry, charge C. B is uh, observation point. Okay. So electric field here by this charge magnitude will be 1 by 4, 4 by epsilon naught charge at C distance between source charge and observation point 4. Should I write 4 directly? Okay, let us write later. Okay, so BC BC square. So substitute the values 9 into 10 power 9 charge at C in magnitude 160 micro -colour. 10 power minus 6, 10 power minus 6, okay, divided by BC, what is BC, 4, so 4 square if I do 60, 60 and this will cancel like 10, so what will be E2, 9 into 9, 10, 10 minus 6, 4, so power is 4, oh that means both the electric fields are same, once we know both the magnitudes are same, how to find the resultant electric field? So resultant or net, whatever word you use, field at which point? B, right? B. This is what this was your B. Is you have to use superposition principle. So these two are the vectors. What is the angle between the 90 degrees? So root of E1 square plus E2 square. Right? Which why I did not write 2 E1 E2 cos theta because theta is 90 degree so cos 90 is 0 and you know both are same so if you put here x x same no both are same no so x square plus x square 2 x square so if you root 2 x and what is x 9 into 10 power 4 newton per coulomb that is the magnitude direction for direction you draw this parallelogram then you draw the diagonal. So this is your resultant electric field ER. And this angle, let us say alpha. Okay, so what will be alpha? How to find alpha? You can calculate tan alpha. So tan alpha will be for this right angle triangle, tan alpha opposite is this, which represents the magnitude of E1. And for this triangle adjacent is E2. But we know both are same, so we cancel. So alpha will be 45 degree. Alpha will be 45 degree. Okay. Fine. So we know the magnitude root 2 into 9. Please put the value 1.414. Multiply with 9 yourself. Then whatever answer comes, you write. And direction is at an angle of 45 degree with E2. Okay. With E1 also it will be 45.
try to find uh, put this minus 160 here and try to find force here it will be interesting okay so let us do the next question now so the next question is question number how much students question number four two point charges 9 into 10 power minus 8 coulomb at a and minus 9 into 10 power minus 8 coulomb at b are 0 0.5 meter apart so one charge is plus 9 into 10 power minus 8 coulomb other charge is minus 9 into 10 power minus 8 coulomb and the distance they are separated is 0 0.5 meter they are asking you find the resultant field electric field at a point located 0 0.5 meter from either charge that means you want electric field which is at a point which is at 0 0.5 meter from both the charge so if you take this point then this is 0 0.5 right so if i choose this point how can this point be 0 0.5 meter from this charge so you have to choose a point which is somewhere exactly here then it is possible that this distance and this distance are same and they want both this distance to be 0 0.5 meter 0 0.5 meter basically this triangle will become what kind of triangle right angle triangle so let us call this point p now okay let's keep changing okay let us not be fixed with symbols okay so if i call that point as p then which is my observation point p because at that point i have to find electric field and which are my source charges can you guess students this is one source charge this is one source charge so due to plus where will be electric field away see you have to be expert now okay e1 array this screen is always getting shifted okay so this is e1 which represents electric field produced by plus and we have already studied due from plus charge electric field is always away from the plus charge and at this point where it will be electric field this is minus it will be this side towards let us call this e2 once we know the direction now we have to calculate the magnitude so what will be e1 due to this charge this time i'll do it little faster okay so 1 by 4 by epsilon naught charge here is 9 into 10 power minus 8 okay and distance is 0 0.5 right from source charge to observation to so 0 0.5 square so this will be what is the value of this 9 into 10 to the power 9 into 9 into 10 power minus 8 this is 0 0.5 is what 1 by 2 yes or no 1 by 2 5 by 10 and 1 by 2 square is 1 by 4 4 will go up so the total electric field will be 9 9 size AP1 into 4. Okay, so 324 into 10 to the power 9 minus 8 will be 1. So it will be 3, 2, sorry, 3, 2, 4, 0 Newton per coulomb. So this is the electric field. This is the electric in exam you should write like this electric field due to charge at a like this and write here a here b like that electric field at which point at p so those things in exam you please mention now do electric field at p due to charge at which point b we are calculating modulus matlab magnitude this will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught charge of this in magnitude will be same distance between charge and point is also same so answer will be same so e2 also will be same so we know both e1 and e2 are 3240 newton per coulomb now total i1 so for total i want to draw this right angle triangle resultant right so this is the resultant now to find the total i need to know the angle between the vectors which i am adding so this angle i want and that is 120 because this is 60 because it is right angle triangle 
and already you know if two vectors have same magnitude and they are at an angle of 120 degree resultant also will have same magnitude so resultant electric field will be 3240 in exam you please write the answer okay root of e1 square plus e2 square plus 2 e1 e2 cos of 120 so that way you do i have done it before so i am not repeating and wasting our time okay so now we will do the last question so you may have guessed what will be the last question right same thing we have done for uh, coulomb force right but there we calculated force if you remember force on a charge here we are calculating electric field at a point and force will have what formula for point charges 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 by r square for source charge what will be electric field at a point 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r square q because it depends on the source charge only okay and distance but not on the test charge now question number 5 says abcd is a square so last question for this numerical exercise abcd is a square so let me give you a square nice looking square like this and charges and side is 5 meter so 5 meter everywhere here it is 50 now see in such question they should mention which is a which is b which is c which is d if they don't mention then different students will get different answer so this question will always come with diagram in epl uh, the diagram is missing so let us do uh, one method and similar method you should be able to do okay so method is more important right so let us say okay uh, this point is a this point is c this point is b and this point is b charge at a is 50 nano coulomb 50 nano coulomb plus charge at c is um, minus 50 nano coulomb they have given minus 50 nano coulomb but in the answer no you have to use plus if you use minus you will not get the right answer so in the question they have given minus we will try for both minus also plus also and here they have given at d they have given plus okay so what we will do first we will try to solve this problem with plus okay so in the EPL, make all the charges plus plus plus. Then I will tell you what to do if this is minus. So now we have to find electric field at the uh, one corner. So which is the observation point? Wherever you want electric field at that point is B. How many source charges are there this time? Three source charges. Okay. A, C, D. See, you can change the name you can put b here and d here that will not change the problem okay now what the same story due to a here e1 let us see or ea due to c here because it is positive so away and due to d it will be here okay so first we will find the magnitude direction we have found by the knowledge that positive charge means away right so what will be e a so e a will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught charge at a divided by distance between a and observation point which is b so this a b square so better to write formula sometimes okay don't don't write always number first then in pakka you will lose marks in board exam so this is 9 into 10 power 9 see right now i am doing step by step because this these are board numericals once i start mcqs after another two, uh, two three videos we'll start mcqs that time i will show you how fast fast calculations you should do how remembering the formula you should directly substitute the values so that you don't waste too much time okay so this is 9 into 10 power 9 and charge at A is 50 nano coulomb. So 50 nano coulomb is 10 power minus 9. And distance AB is 5. So it will be 5 square. So 25. This and this will cancel right. 9 and minus 9. 25 twos are. So EA is 18. 
after calculating ea i will calculate ec first why sir because ec will have same value why because see what will be electric field here due to this same formula 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught charge at c which is also 50 nanocoulomb and this distance is also 5 5 square 25 so answer will be 18 so no need to waste time but in a board exam again please write the formula substitute and do it okay now let us see at which point i have to sorry at due to which charge i have to do d so due to d what will be the electric field 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught charge at d divided by this distance this distance will be how much this is 5 this is 5 so this will be root 2 5 and if you remember coulomb force where we did this if you remember will be half of this or this will be half of this you can check now let me write formula first so this is charge at d divided by from source charge to observation point so db square okay so let me clear some space okay so let us calculate ed now so electric field due to charge source charge d that will be this value is how much 9 into 10 to the power 9 okay so my kid is making noise so please excuse okay so this is 9 into 10 power 9 what is the charge at d charge at d is 50 nano coulomb 50 into 10 power minus 9 sorry minus 9 divided by r square r matlab db source charge observation point root 2 5 square it root 2 5 square will be what 2 into 25 right root 2 square is 2 root 5 oh, sorry 5 square is 25 as i told this will be 25 2 is a 2 2 will cancel so this will be half of this i told see 9 newton per coulomb so we found the magnitude of all the individual electric fields individually we have found so how much we got this is 18 this is 18 this is 9 now which one i will add first these two because these two are 18 18 so resultant of this and this will be here itself right and how much will be that that will be root 2 into 18 yes or no root over resultant this is resultant of ea at ec so resultant of ea and ec will be let us say er the root of ea square plus ec square and both are same so it will be x square plus x square root 2x so root 2x and what is the value of ea and ec 18 so this is the so this is your er okay let us remove these values okay so this resultant is er whose value i have written here now i have to add the resultant of these two with this one right see when three numbers are given what you do add these two first add these two whatever answer comes add with the third one so first you add these two using vector addition whatever answer comes add with this one now if you see this and this they are in same direction and if two vectors are in same direction resultant is a plus b sum of the magnitudes s u m sum so net electric field will be e r plus e d e r is the resultant of e a and e c which is root 2 into 18 plus this is also 18 so root 2 plus 1 common 18 then you can substitute the sorry you can substitute the values and get the answer fine students okay so so for today this is nice okay so we have completed we have understood what is electric field we have uh, found a nice proper uh, understanding right definition of electric field and then we know how to measure electric field we know formula for electric field due to point charge so if i give you a point charge electric field will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q where q is the magnitude of the charge do not include the minus sign 
divided by r squared and what is r distance between the charge and the point where you want electric field okay and direction very easy positive source charge means away negative source charge means towards because while defining electric field it was defined as force experienced by a unit positive test charge positive test charge so if your source charge is positive then i keep positive test charge force will be repulsive repulsive means away from this so electric field will be away and if your source charge is negative then positive test charge will be attracted so electric field will be towards okay fine okay after knowing this uh, remaining now i see the only 10 minutes we have so we will do some doubt clarification these are the interesting part okay many of my students wait for this part actually doubt clarification so they were asking some questions which are actually based on coulomb's law so which is going on it's okay so first part is i have a charge q and i have a charge here for q so q only okay and question is what charge i should keep here which i call capital q answer should be in terms of this two because this is given 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 so they are asking what charge i should keep at the midpoint so that the system so question is what is capital q here charge here so that system is in equilibrium now what is the meaning of equilibrium equilibrium means net force should be zero now if system is in equilibrium system it means every part of the system should be in equilibrium now let us ask suppose i keep this charge q here okay so forget about this this is the question right so now imagine i keep charge capital q here they are asking you to keep there only okay now ask yourself is this in equilibrium or not yes because this charge will be repelled by this with some force f1 now we are back to force okay and this charge will be repelled by this charge also because both okay, this is like this is plus this is plus and if this is plus this will be repelled by this and you can see this product is same as this product of charges right q1 q2 q1 q2 distance here if i say is r if this is r this is also r by 2 this is also r by 2 so these forces will be equal and therefore this net force on this charge will be zero so this will be in equilibrium but question is will this be in equilibrium they said system is in equilibrium so will this be in equilibrium ask yourself this q will repel with some force this q will be this q will repel this q right so this q will feel a force this side and this q if it is positive will also repel and if both the charges repel this one how can this be zero because these two forces will add similarly this charge will also be repelled by this charge and this charge will be also repelled by this charge so it is very clear students that if you put here positive charge then it cannot the system cannot be in equilibrium this charge can be in equilibrium but not the system so one thing we have understood that whatever is the answer for this charge to be kept here that must be negative so whatever charge is here should be negative understood why it is clear no if it is positive then this and this can never be in equilibrium now we know this is already in equilibrium now also because minus q will be attracted by this this side and minus q will be attracted by this this side so those two forces will cancel so this will be in equilibrium question is will this be in equilibrium so let us check so this will be repelled by this by some force f1 let us say and what will be f1 1 by 4 by epsilon naught q q by see we are back to coulomb's law now because we are talking about force equilibrium right so force on this by this means 1 by 4 by epsilon naught q1 q2 by this distance they have not given so let us say r so r square so this force direction I have shown, magnitude I have shown. 
Now, what about, will this feel another force? Yes, this charge is also there, right? So this charge is minus, so it will be attracted. By what force? F2. What will be F2? 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught, product of the charges. Magnitude I am writing. So it will be Q, magnitude of this will be capital Q, modulus you can take, divided by R square. What is this distance? R, ah, this is also R, this is also R. How it is possible? This is R means this will be R by 2. So R by 2 square. Right students? Okay, so that will become R square by 4. R square by 4. 4 will go up. Now, they want the system to be in equilibrium, right? So this should be in equilibrium. So for Q to be in equilibrium, what is the condition? Net force should be 0 for their directions should be opposite, which I have done. And how I made the directions opposite by taking this charge minus. Now what is the other condition? Magnitude should be equal. So F1 magnitude should be F2. Put F1 and F2. So you see this and this will cancel if you substitute this. Oh no, not this. Small q and one small q will cancel. R square and R square will cancel. So from F1 what will be left? Q. From F2 4 capital Q. 4 capital Q. So what should be capital Q? Q by 4. Q by 4. So how much charge should you keep here? Q by 4. So if options are Q by 4, Q by 2, minus Q by 4, minus Q by 2. Which one will you choose? Sir, we got Q by 4. So Q by 4. No. This is the magnitude. See, when I was writing modulus, no. So when I write magnitude of force, I always take magnitude. So this is only the magnitude of the charge. But the, but the charge which I should keep here is negative of this Q. So it should be minus capital Q. The charge which is kept here is minus capital Q. Matla minus Q by 4. So this is the one you should take. Okay. Second doubt is a variation of this question. Okay. So far variation we will do. Okay. Please excuse the noise from the outside. Okay. So I hope I am talking louder than my family members. So question number 2 you see now. Okay, very interesting. I give here one charge Q and I give you here one charge 4Q. Question is, okay, where should I keep another charge so that system is in equilibrium? Now you cannot keep the another charge in the middle because this is more charge than this. Understood. So if you keep in the middle, this will be able to repel more than this. So the third, this charge, whichever you will keep, that will not be in equilibrium. So question is, I, now you know, right, for that third charge to be in equilibrium, already we have discussed, where should you be? Nearer to the smaller charge. Because nearer to the smaller charge, electrically will be zero, I have spoken. And if electrically zero, when you put the charge, force on that will be also zero. Because what is force? Q into E. So if E electric field here is zero, force here on another charge which you keep, that will be also zero. So question is, what should be the charge kept here? So that electric field, so that system is in equilibrium. So what is capital Q? So that system is in equilibrium. System is in equilibrium. So make a note of this question also. All these are for entrance, okay? So uh, please put hashtag something. These questions do not come for board exams. Okay, so how will we solve this problem? So the difficulty now is this charge is not in the middle. So I cannot say that if this is R, this is R by 2. So I don't know what is this. So let us say this whole distance is R and this is X. And this will be what? R minus X. And you know that this charge, whatever you keep, must be negative. Right? Yes or no? Because you want system to be in equilibrium. So this charge also should be in equilibrium or this charge also should be in equilibrium. So if both are positive, this will be repelled by both of them. So if it is minus, one will attract and other will repel. Similarly here, for this charge, this will attract and this charge will repel. So now there is a chance that the net force can be zero. So 
I hope the question is clear, right? Okay, so how do we solve this? First, let us talk about equilibrium of this minus q. So for minus q to be in equilibrium, for minus q, this charge to be in equilibrium, net force on minus q should be zero. So force on this by this should balance force on this by this. So what is force on this by this? Force on minus q by small q. 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q capital Q by distance between them is x. Magnitude, okay, we are writing. And that should balance the magnitude of force on minus q by 4q. Direction will be like this, no, because this will be attracted by this. This will be attracted by this. So forces are opposite. Now we should match the magnitudes. Then the net force will be 0. So 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught capital Q, 4Q, capital Q, 4Q divided by distance between them is R minus X whole square. Right students? Okay. Capital Q, small Q, capital Q, small Q, 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught cancel. So we get R minus X by X cross multiply whole square will be 4. So this will be 2. Okay. Take square root and all. So R minus X will be 2X. So R will be 3x. So x is r by 3. So you know where you should keep this. You should keep this x by 3 nearer to the weaker charge. I told you already before. So we have come to know x is r by 3. But we need to find this capital Q remember. Okay. So now let us talk about equilibrium of either this or this. Any one will give you same answer. So let us talk about force for 4q. Four this charge is needed. Now, this charge will be attracted by this and this charge will be repelled by this. Right? And those two should balance. For balancing, magnitude should be same. Okay, students? So, what is the force on 4q by minus q? Magnitude. 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. 4q. Magnitude of minus q is just q. Just q. Don't write a minus. Divided by this distance. What is this distance? R minus x whole square. And that should balance the force on 4q by this q. That will be how much? 1 by 4 by epsilon naught. 4q q. 4q q. Keep the symbols care, uh, right as symbols carefully divided by this distance, which is r. Right? So this is force on because we are talking about now equilibrium of weight charge 4q. So I want net force on this to be zero. Who will apply force on this? This charge and this charge. This charge, this minus q will attract. This plus q will repel. And those two forces should be equal in magnitude. So this represents one of the force on 4q by capital Q. And this is force on 4q by small q. Distance, you see the diagram and write carefully. So this and this will cancel. 4q, 4q cancel. So capital Q by r minus x. x how much I got? r by 3. x I got r by 3. No? So make use of it. Whole square will be equal to q by r square. What is, what is r minus r by 3? 1 minus 1 by 3. 1 minus 1 by 3 is 2 by 3. So q this will be 2 by 3 whole square. So 3 square will go up 9 by 4 r square equals to 9 by 4 r square equals to q by r square r square r square cancel so what is the charge that you should keep here magnitude will be 4 q by 9 so wherever you see the option 4 q by 9 with minus sign that you tick okay so we have uh, reached the end of the class today so again next video we'll see more topics thank you Hi students, uh, this is a small clip which I am adding to the video for today and uh, so it may look slightly different from the actual video which I have made for today's class. This clip I made so that you know one of the question number 7 uh, entrance corner uh, 1.2 I think. So there uh, the one that I solved is correct only but it is not what in EPL they have told. Okay, So whatever 
I have explained in question number seven. It is correct. The concept is correct. Method is correct. Okay. So if they change the question, you should be able to answer. But let me just tell you what actually was in uh, EPL. The reason why I uh, did not do that one is because uh, I did not have EPL that moment. Okay. So I just thought that is the right one. But then I came to know from one of the student that the force is actually in the different direction. So let me just explain it quickly. So what they told was, this is your x-axis, okay, positive x-axis. This is your y-axis, okay. And they have kept one charge here, q1, one charge here, q2, and one charge here, q3. And they have told force on q1 by q2 and q3 together is F. Okay, and that uh, the last video I assumed all these are positive. Okay, so then where will be the force on this, this F? This will repel this one this way. This will repel Q1 this way. So resultant will be here along negative X axis. But in the question, they have told the force on this is attractive and they may not have used the word attractive, the force, but they have told the force on this is along positive X axis along positive x-axis. So if you want the total force on q1 to be along positive x-axis, this is the direction of positive x-axis, this is the direction of negative x-axis. So if you want total force to be along positive x-axis, it is very much important that this the sign of this must be minus. Okay. So if that is minus, what will happen? This will be attracted by this, this way. Right, and this will be attracted to this along this line, right, this way. And therefore, the total force of, let us say, F1, F2 will be in this direction. So, that is your total force, which is now along positive x-axis. That day, the one which I did yesterday was actually, uh, the force was along negative x-axis. So, this Q1, I took positive. But in the question, in the EPL, they have told the force is along positive x-axis. So if this charge should feel force along positive x-axis due to these two, then this charge must be negative. So now they have added here another charge plus q. Okay, so plus q if you add, then what will happen to the force they asked? Okay, so this is already minus we know. So this plus will further attract it, right? So one more additional force will come one more additional force will come because of this plus q in this direction f dash so the net force will be both are in the same direction so it will be f plus f dash right which means because of the presence of this charge the force on this will increase so force on q1 will increase and it will increase in what direction it is positive x axis along positive x axis Okay, so option A is correct. Fine? Okay, thank you.